just leaving church. Pumpkin went to go get the kids. We had to drive separate cars today because somebody was late. Yeah. I always felt like couples should ride together, even if y'all got your own cars. Couples should ride together for church. But if one is moving slow, I say leave them. See them when they get there. And that's what I did. I saw her when she got here. And while she go get the kids, I'm headed to the house. Go get us something comfortable. T-shirts, sweatpants. Pray. Matter of fact, I'm going to pray when I start praying when I cut y'all. Well, I can pray with y'all. Either way, I don't know. It's, it's a little cool today, y'all. It's cool today. Oh, man. Oh, Thank God, awesome, y'all. Talk back to me. Talk back. Ain't he awesome, y'all? Ain't he awesome that y'all like? We love the team. See, look at this. This is beautiful over here. But this is not a lake that anybody can go to. These lakes are attached to these big houses over here. There's some huge houses over here. You about to see some, I guess, right there. See, this lake is just for them. This is in their backyard. And that's what I believe in God for. I believe in God for a huge house. A prophet told me once that, um, a prophet who I believe told me that you're gonna have the biggest house you can find. Now I know some people don't like those words, house, because they don't like it until they get that word. Then they like it. But he's not someone that, that we prophesy. Come on, you turn in front of me. Not somebody that usually prophesy houses and cars. But Sam, I will have the biggest house in my family, Sam, a lot, because there's some huge houses in my family. Anyway, we work hard, and we want nice things, and we bless people. We sow seeds. Y'all know what I love doing? Now, the grocery store thing, I've never done that, like, be in line and pay some pay for somebody behind me. But I'm not trying to get no glory out of telling y'all this, because th this is just me. You know, but being in McDonald's line or being in uh, Bojangles line and paying for the car behind me. You know, even even if that what they ordered, because there was some time I, or, I paid for somebody and what they ordered was nothing about four dollars. But just being a blessing to somebody and then they tell you, you know how you go to the drive thru and they tell you, pull up, somebody gonna bring your food out. I hate that. I pull up and then the person behind me who I paid for, they blow the horn as they pass it by. I'm like, thank you, thank you. People appreciate it. It's just small things like that. I, I don't care if I was in a line and all I had in my hand was deodorant and, they, and they, somebody paid for the deodorant. Man, I would appreciate that. Like, the older one I bought, I use nothing but Arid. Arid Extra Dry. I pay $2 a change for some Arid and somebody paid for that for me, man. I would be so grateful. Like, they stood in the lines and said, I'm gonna get his, his the older one. That's a blessing. To me, it's a blessing. I don't know if y'all y'all would feel that way. Y'all you know, just feel like big stuff is a blessing. You know, I also love if I got in line with a 65-inch TV. <laughs> and somebody like, man, I'm gonna buy a TV. Like, thank you, Jesus. But anyway, y'all. I don't want a boy, y'all. I'm headed to the house. They've gotta get the kids and She's going to the store. She's going to Dollar General. 
I'm going to the house to chill. I'm going to find a good Christian movie. We like we like movies with a message, a positive message. Like a lot of Christian movies, uh, and I admit they need to be more versatile. But a lot of Christian movies are somebody's faith is attacked, and then near the end they get their faith back. Most movies I see, but I do feel like there's some good movies, and some good movies. So I'm gonna check on Netflix and see if any anything on there. Anything new on it because we don't watch. We don't want. Oh, you know what a good one is, y'all? If y'all want to, I got Netflix when I uh, see a Christian movie. I like um, King's Faith. King's Faith. Check that out. There were some others that I like, but can't think of the name of that right now. But anyway, we'll get back on with y'all. What's up, team? So, you guys, I'm just leaving church and. Um, I was so mad at Babe today, you guys, this morning, because he left me. Yeah, he left me. He left me and the kids. And because he thought the church started at 10 o'clock. He didn't believe me when I said it started at 1030. So he was early. But I was late, you guys. Maybe about mm, a few minutes. Hold on. So anyways, I was mad at Babe because he left me and he was early but yeah i was right you guys 10 30 that's the time church start so i was only maybe about probably 15 minutes late <laughs> yeah anyways uh <clears throat> i got my paparazzi jewelry on today uh let me see if i can show you the bracelet beautiful right yeah so support gg love miss lavonda love you've seen her on testimony tuesdays you guys you've seen her on this channel yeah we're gonna put her link down in the description again support my girl yeah the kids are about to come in the car just trying to wave at them yeah so um i'm getting ready to go to to, to the uh to dollar general get some hair dye i'm just gonna look look all this new growth up here yeah i want to just dye my hair again uh yeah, I'm just gonna wear my real hair for a while. That's what I'm gonna do. So yeah. Yeah, babe was so tired, you guys, in church. He was so tired. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, team, I miss you guys. We miss you, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm gonna um um do something to my hair today. Yeah. So I can look cute because I have webinars coming up and I don't want to be on the webinar with my hair sticking all up. You know, that is not a good look. <laughs> not a good look. Yeah. Oh, one more thing I want to tell you guys. Yes. Um, the last class when I did my school to profits, uh, miracles broke out. It was amazing. This girl had a lump in her left breast and the Holy Spirit gave me a word of knowledge and um. We prayed over that lump. We commanded it to dissolve, and it dissolved. Supernatural, isn't that awesome? God, yeah.
what's up team so you guys i just woke up and me and babe we weren't feeling so good our stomachs are like jacked up yeah so i just pushed past it and i went in the kitchen and i'm making the kids tonight uh baked potatoes loaded baked potatoes um i'm getting ready to dye my hair um this is my color i always dye my hair it's by dark and lovely and it's called Luminous, Luminous Blonde. All right. Uh, color 396. Uh, and this is the color tones right here. So, you know, you hear if it's like light brown, the lighter brown it is, it's going to be more blonder. So, yeah. So, my hair's getting ready to be really blonde. I'm going to step out on faith, you guys. I'm really scared. Um, I'm going to dye my whole head. Usually for years, what I've been doing is only dyeing the top or the front blonde. I never dyed the back, the rest of my hair because I was scared. Like, oh my God, you know, um, what if my hair breaks off? So I was all scared that my hair was going to break off. But I'm going to just step out and do it because I'm tired of wearing the weave. You know, um, I just want my hair to be all one tone because my hair right now is like four different colors. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I started wearing my hair like blonde on top. And black in the bottom because if you follow my like YouTube channel like Kimberly Hargraves and you see when I worked in the hospital, I used to always wear bangs in the front and put my hair in a ball. I wore my hair like that for two years, my favorite style, because I didn't like, you know, messing with my hair. But anywho, I'm just going to sit up here and take out some of this, this weave and just, you know, get my hair looking good, you guys. Yeah, so this is what I'm about to do. This is going to be a lot of, a lot of work. But yeah, Babe said he don't want to help me, you guys. You know, usually he'll be nice and he'll help me take out, you know, my tracks. But he's like, nope. So it's okay. Yeah, so I decided just to rock my real hair for a while. Because actually, I don't know about you guys. If I'm talking, about talking to the ladies. <laughs> I like wearing my real hair versus the weed anyways. Because... Uh, I like how my real hair flows, you know, so yeah, so just cutting uh, some of the string out. I just took out all my hair combed it so this is me my natural me yeah so I'm going to dye it um, and right now I'm making the kids some baked potatoes and salad yeah they're gonna love it they love my baked potatoes they love it
should die out. I ran out of hair dye, so a lot of it's still dark underneath here. Yeah, I didn't know I had to get two boxes because most of my hair was black underneath. So yeah, I only used one box. So I ran out of dye. So maybe in two weeks, if I feel like it, I try to dye the rest of my hair the blonde color. Yeah, but my hair's stripping wet. I'm gonna put some conditioner on my hair for like an hour. And then, uh, you know, wash not, it out flat iron. I'm gonna dye mine too, guys. No, I'm not. I'm dye my hair all by now. No, I like that's what you are. That's how, that's the color I used to dye it in New York. All by We're not in New York anymore, baby. Mm -hmm. We're in South Kakalaki. <laughs> we're moving to New York, though. No, we're not. I don't want to live in New York. Found leader, babe. Found leader. No. Team, interject. Team, don't say nothing. Don't, <laughs> first of all, don't mess with a man's house. You don't want to mess with somebody's marriage. Remember that, team. <laughs> Y'all have nothing to say in this matter. I don't want to live in I'm the house. highest authority in this house. Babe, I'm a country God. girl. Why would you bring a country don't girl to the city? That. I'll probably lose my mind. There's a lot of country girls in the city. I don't want to be there. I rather go back to the middle. I have spoken. <laughs> I go to Colorado. I to New York. Team, don't. I rather go to Colorado. Don't get in this team. I love y'all. Yeah. Let's let's continue to have a good relationship, team. Anyway, pay your head up. It's cold. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Babe likes my real hair better than the weed. He does. Uh, no. <laughs> Not necessarily better than we, better than that we. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we ain't got nothing. <laughs> it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real. Thank you for watching us. Uh, you no, know, do nothing. <laughs> no stop. Let me stop. Thank you guys for watching us go to church and just, you know, cook. Uh, I hope you like the, the food that we cooked, the baked potatoes. The kids loved it and the salad. Um, and I hope you enjoyed me doing my hair. So, anyways. Deuces.